Hey, this is Aaron Shaw with Coach's Corner. This is an opportunity to share some tips and tricks on ways to get as strong and fit as possible and to do it all safely. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about TRX or other sort of suspension exercise tools that are out of the market. Uh, TRX I think was probably the first brand that was out on the market and since then there's been dozens of others that are use the same concept. And so what it is, it's using your own body weight and some arguably very low tech straps and either a carabiner uh, or something to attach the straps to, um, to a point on a wall or over a door. Or you can use, again, gravity, your body weight and leverage to get a whole body workout. There's, I mean, you're really the, the only limitation with using these is your imagination. So there are hundreds and hundreds of exercises you can do to strengthen everything from your calves to your shoulders and all points in between. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about um, a way to strengthen your tricep and your core. So triceps, back of the arms, these are going to be your pushing, kind of pushing motions. Uh, will help contribute to everything from doing an overhead lift to a push up to pushing yourself up off the floor, pushing yourself out of a chair. Um, and of course there's a whole lot of sports performance that depends on pushing. To this exercise to show a way to actually get a, a nice core engagement in addition to your tricep engagement. So the first way to set these up, uh, and this is kind of a little bit of a trick that takes a little bit of um, forethought into what your motion is going to be. But you, in order to set up your position, what you're going to want to do is actually start in the finished position. So th my, the full exercise that I'm going to do here to demonstrate is going to be pushing away in this way. So when I first start, what I'm going to do is since the, 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 or maybe it's the halfway point, the halfway point of this exercise is with these straps that are kind of right by my temples, or by the side of my head. So I'm gonna start there and kind of stabilize myself and then walk my feet back to the point where I feel like it's a little bit challenging. And so now my body's in kind of a plank position and I'm gonna push the straps away. So the only thing that is moving during this, this exercise are my elbows. My shoulders not moving, my hips aren't moving, my toes are locked on the floor. And so all I'm doing is pushing this, uh, my body weight away. The straps aren't even moving, they're fixed. Uh, if you were going to do this with a dumbbell, you may have heard something called a skull crusher. Uh, it's called a skull crusher with uh, uh, a barbell for obvious reasons, because if you saw somebody doing it, you'd think that they might perhaps crush their skull. skull. Using these straps, the good news is the chance of crush crushing your skull is essentially zero. So this is a nice way to isolate the tricep. Again, because I'm planking out, this gives my core a little bit of work. But if you want to add even more core activation while doing it, I'm going to add in a second exercise and blend it into one. So it's going to be a tricep push away. So now with in my finished position, so the uh, the straps are basically at eye level. What I'm going to do is reach my arms up overhead into a Superman position, bring them back down, come back to a tricep extension, Superman position, bring it back down. So the key, to th or one thing to think about, one risk with doing this is that once your arms are up in that overhead position, it is really high demand on the shoulders. So if you have a pinching sensation or any sort of history of um, shoulder dislocation or if you're really hyper mobile if you feel like your shoulder joints kind of move around too much you're not going to want to go all the way up into that fully extended position because it put, does put a lot of demand on the shoulder itself if that's not a problem you can explore that that again that superman position and you also don't have to go out all the way you can just go out part of the way pause bring it back in so what's happening is the further you reach away the more your core has to engage so you don't collapse. So the take home message is if you're short on space in your home gym, I would consider getting some straps. Again, TRX, Red Cord is another brand and there's probably a dozen other brands out there on Amazon if you check them out. Um, really low tech. You don't need to have a bar like, like here. You don't have to drill a hole into your ceiling. There are one, are, uh, our attachments that you can actually put them over a door and close the door and that'll secure it as well. And there is hundreds of different exercises you can do with these. So 
Think about an investment. In the meantime, if you do have one of these, now you know a really good way to exercise your tricep. And I'm always a sucker for trying to get in the most bang for your buck, the most efficient exercise that you can possibly do. So if you can do two exercises at the same time, in this case, tricep and core activation, go ahead and give it a shot. If you have a favorite exercise with this, drop me a line. Or if there's one that you, if there's a body part that you want to strengthen and you're not really sure how to do it with this, also drop me a line. I'm happy to sh create a video uh, to show you how you can do that. So until then, work on your tricep, work on your core, be safe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.